hello everyone thank you so much for joining me it's been such a long time since i've made any videos on this channel so i'm really pleased that you're here so today is the first day of 30 days of sketches i think it's the 11th series um christy's beautiful life i'll link her channel below she's the one who organizes all of this uh, it's the first time i'm taking part to be perfectly honest i haven't actually scrapbooked in a couple of years until this very very recently actually probably about the last month or so um i kind of not gave up on it during COVID, but kind of didn't really feel like I wanted to do anything like that during COVID. So it's, it's as I said, recently coming back to it. But yeah, decided to start and join in with this. Um, so I'm here today to share a couple of the page kits that I've put together. So I've decided that I'm going to create about a week's worth of page kits in advance. Um, so with today being the first and it's a Wednesday, I'm going to run through to Sunday and then my aim is to upload a week's worth each Sunday until the end of March. Um, I've not created all of them in advance because I'm just waiting on a new order um, with not having done any scrapbooking for a while. It's also been a long time since I bought anything. So I've just placed quite a big order that I'm waiting for and I'd quite like to use some of the new stuff. So anyone who knows me knows that I don't scrapbook with collections. Um, I don't really buy collections very often either, although there is one that I've ordered that is expected so that I may be doing some with that. Um, I very much mix and match my stash with the new stuff. Um, I'm not bothered about staying with man within manufacturers or even collections or anything like that. So it is very much a mix of everything that I'm using. So the first sketch is on here now. So this has been done by Jessie B Scrapbooking. I'll link her YouTube channel in the comments as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether everybody else that's done the sketches for the first few days have got channels, but if I have, I will link all of them in the comments. So this one, I'm planning on doing four pictures of my youngest daughter. Uh, so they're the ones here and the papers that I've put together are from Crate Paper Cute Girl I think it was um, and then this is just a random scrap from a Project Life paper pack actually I think it was from the Midnight Collection so they're the ones that I'll be using for that almost all of my pages have white backgrounds so they'll all be put on 12 by 12 or I don't do 9 by 12 or 8 and a half by 11 I do A4 if I do a smaller size so if it's going to be not 12 by 12 it'll be an A4 layout so that's the first one there second one we've got is this one now it's not got the name of who created it on there but like I said I will link them all below um so white background again this one I'm going to be scrapbooking pictures of my two daughters in the snow um, we don't get snow very often here in the UK and this was a few years ago now. She's now at secondary school and about to become a teenager and this is when she was at primary school and I think she'd not long started school. So I'd, this one will be a collection. It's the Bow Bunny, um, so it says noteworthy on there, but no, Altitude, that was the one. So Bow Bunny Altitude collection. The only reason this is going to be a collection is because I don't really have a lot of winter or Christmas papers. I do December daily each year. That's about the only thing that I've kept up with, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I don't tend to buy Christmas or winter papers purely because we don't get that much snow in the UK. So it's not something that I scrapbook regularly. So these pictures fit perfect with the colours from this collection. So they will be with that. Day three, I've got a feeling this was... Diane Barton maybe I'm sure it was somebody Barton um, so the one that I'm doing for this one I've got a cut file the circle bit around here I've decided I'm going to use a wreath a silhouette cut file wreath um, cut out of wood grain paper with the florals I'm switching that bit over to there but I've got the four by six photo and I'm going to use cocoa vanilla papers um, so these were a relatively recent buy. Um, I did actually go to a scrapbook retreat last year for a few days and it was the only scrapbooking that I did all year, but I did buy some new papers then. So I've only got a few papers from this collection. Um, I bought it quite a while after it came out, so it was just a case of buying what was left really. Um, I've still got the embellishment pack in one. Normally I split them all up um, and put them with like butterflies or icons, hearts, that sort of thing but this is still all in the packet so I decided it might be good to use that um, I've also fussy cut some of the florals out from the paper and put them in here so I thought it might be nice to use this and the colours fit well with the picture so that will be day three 
So this is the sketch for day four. It says Galaxy Girl Creations. Um, I've decided that I'm going to rotate that because my three pictures are portrait orientation, not landscape. So I'm going to go with it that way. Uh, the three pictures that I've got are of my girls at the park with their bikes. So I'm using this paper that's got bikes on it. I've had this for years. Um, when was it from? Oh, 2016. So yeah, quite a while. Um, I'm sure 2015, 2016 was when I must have bought a lot of my scrap stash because I seem to have a lot of papers from around then. But yeah, so I'm going with this bike paper and this one's slightly cream rather than white, but that doesn't bother me too much. Um, so I'm going to create the diagonal sections there with these two. Um, and then I'll just bring in scraps for the rest of the bits. Okay, so the final one for this video is day five. This is Scrappy Sisters. So they've got their YouTube channel. It's one that I watch quite regularly. Um, and I am planning on flipping the sketch so that this diagonal goes down this side purely because the picture that I've got, she's facing that way. So it makes more sense to have it on that side. So let me just put that one at the top just there. So I'm going to have this picture just here. I'm probably going to use a journaling card to replace that bit there. And I have a lot of teal, mint, um, peachy corally coloured papers. So this one I absolutely love. Uh, this is an old Webster's Pages paper that has, oh, it was years and years and years ago that I got that, but I've been hoarding it. It was from a beach collection. Um, and it is one of my most favourite papers ever. And I just thought it goes really well with the picture. So that's what I'll be doing for day five. So my aim is to create some process videos. I'm not going to commit to doing every day because I have a lot going on as well um, with work and stuff like that. But I am going to try and do some process videos. Uh, I will come back each week and do a layout share for the kits that I've shared. And my aim is to upload on a Sunday with the new page kits for the coming week. So thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you um, come back for some of the process videos and hope to see you soon. Please click like if you like this because this is a channel that hasn't been used for years. So it will really, really help if you click that. And if you like what you see and you want to see more, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks very much. See you soon. Bye.